After testing positive for five different types of illegal substances, Yoo Yin's entire world turned upside down. But the way he's being treated by the South Korean public could make you think that he was a horrible monster. The entire K-drama world probably knows all the details of Yoo Yin's scandal by now, but for those who don't, it's not that complicated. Everything came crashing down for Ayin in February of this year. He took a flight from the US to Jeju Island, but didn't really get to enjoy much of his trip as he was detained upon arrival. The authorities suspected him of using illegal substances and started a very thorough investigation. The police had enough reason to believe that he had been using a sleep-inducing substance that's often prescribed for surgical use. You can probably already guess that possessing this type of substance for non-medical reasons is highly illegal. The authorities had checked Ayin's prescription records and noticed that he received this particular substance from different hospitals a little too often. Assessing the situation, an official wrote, as a result of expert review, it was found that an excessive amount of propofol was prescribed even if it was assumed that he had multiple diseases at the same time. Before you know it, Ayin was banned from leaving the country and had to send his samples to the National Forensic Service for examination. On February 10th, the results of his urine test came back positive, except they didn't find the substance that they were looking for. Instead, they found traces of another substance. After this revelation was made, the authorities went radio silent for about two weeks. Then, on the 24th of February, the results of his hair examination finally became public. Just as suspected, he had tested positive for the sleep-inducing substance as well. But that wasn't the whole story, though, because it turned out that traces of yet another illegal substance were found in his hair sample. At this point, three different types of substances were detected in his system, and as time progressed, the number only increased. As of right now, Ayin is accused of having misused five different substances that are not legal in South Korea, three of which are available through medical practice, usually used to treat insomnia. It's reported that during the investigation, Ayin claimed that he used four substances in total, denying that he ever came in contact with the fifth one. Additionally, he said he legitimately used three of the substances for medical treatment. However, after looking at his prescription records, the police had enough reason to believe that he was overusing them. He admitted that he used to smoke one of the substances recreationally and reportedly told the police that it was an acquaintance who supplied him with it. What many people aren't aware of is that Ayin was diagnosed with a bone tumor back in 2017. His agency claimed that Ayin's diagnosis was not life-threatening and that it didn't form an issue in his day-to-day -day life. They wrote, there are no difficulties in his day-to-day -day life. We are watching his prognosis. We never said that he was battling an illness and we don't know where that phrase came from. Although his agency argued his condition wasn't severe, it was serious enough for him to be deemed unfit to serve in the military. Ayin underwent examination and was exempt from being an active duty soldier primarily due to his bone tumor. At the time, it was revealed that he was undergoing treatment to make the pain in his day-to-day -day life more bearable. It's very likely that during this period in his life, he came into contact with all the medical substances that he's now accused of overusing. Lots of patients who are in cancer remission and seek pain relief have a high chance of getting addicted to these substances because they grow dependent on them. According to reports, one of the substances Ayin was using was so highly addictive that doctors aren't allowed to prescribe more than 10 milligrams a day. Ayin's fans have spoken up about the fact that there seems to be very little sympathy for his situation. There are people in the entertainment industry who have done far worse things, but they were treated with more respect than him. Instead of supporting Ayin on his path to recovery, he's being shamed and attacked for being addicted to substances that once helped him relieve his pain. Someone who went through something similar is actor Ha Dong Woo because he used some of the same substances as Ayin. However, he was forgiven after he disappeared for a while to do some self-reflection. Ayin won't be left off the hook that easily though since he was caught using huge amounts. In addition, he's become the first public figure to be caught using more than three illegal substances, which definitely doesn't help his case. What shocked Ayin's supporters the most is when some very sinister details about his substance use were revealed to the public. Some time ago, the police shared that Ayin had used one of the sleep-inducing substances over 73 times in 2021. Although that doesn't tell you much, when put into perspective, that means that he used over 4.4 liters of the substance, which is a dangerous quantity. The amount of the chemical that is typically used medically is between 5 and 10 milliliters per use, but Ayin allegedly consumed roughly six times that amount. Investigators also explained that he used the substance about six times each month, which is significantly more than the recommended dose. Fans were incredibly worried that if the authorities hadn't discovered that he was using, his life could have been in serious danger. Not all of Ayin's fans are equally supportive, though, because he was recently attacked right after leaving the courthouse. A passerby, seemingly very angry with Ayin, threw a cup of coffee at him. He didn't get hurt, but it must have been a humiliating experience regardless. Some fans took to the internet to express their anger over the situation. It's his crime and his charges. It doesn't give anyone else the right to act so crudely towards him. And another person claimed that he'll face enough punishment in court so 
there is no reason to use violence against him. It's likely that the attack had everything to do with the rumors that were spread around in regards to Ayn's case that made him look even worse. On May 19th, the police requested an arrest warrant out of fear that Ayn would destroy any evidence that would further incriminate him. Previously, Ayn had stated that he received one of the substances that he used from an acquaintance, which automatically made this person his accomplice. A few days later, the authorities made clear that the arrest warrant would be for both Ayn and his accomplice because they believed that his acquaintance had tried to leave the country to escape the case. Explaining their choice for the arrest warrant, the police wrote, We felt an arrest warrant was necessary because Yu Ayin had denied the charges even after the investigation, the fact that the type and number of substances have increased, and the fact he has an accomplice. As a result of this commotion, Ayin made a public appearance right before he went to court, and it's an understatement to say that people were taken aback by how he looked. His hands were tied with a blue cloth, and netizens noticed lots of his hair strands had turned gray. Fans pointed out that this must have been due to the huge amount of stress that he's being put under. They also expressed it's inhumane that he's being tied up and carried away like an animal instead of being shown compassion and offered help when he's at his lowest. During his public appearance, Ayn explained that he deeply regrets using substances, but that he never tried to destroy any evidence. He shared that he admitted to most of the charges and told the entire truth to the police. Shortly after his public appearance, it was announced that the Seoul Central District Court made the decision to reject the arrest warrant. The court believed that there was very little reason to believe Ayn would destroy evidence, especially since he's a first-time offender. Besides, he's shown lots of cooperation and has admitted to most of the charges, so they didn't see the point in making things even worse for him. It's clear that during this entire investigation, Ayn has had very little support from anyone, really. When it comes to substance use, the laws in Korea are incredibly strict. Not to mention that there's a lot of social stigma around addiction, so it's not surprising that the public isn't showing him any compassion at all. He did fully cooperate with the investigation, but that wasn't enough to salvage his career. Almost immediately after the news hit the public, his future projects were put to a halt. He had quite a few dramas and endorsements lined up for him, but he was dropped from all of them. What fans were mostly looking forward to was the second season of his highly popular drama, Hellbound. At first, it was unclear what was going to happen, but then in March, it was announced that Ayn would be replaced by Kim Song Chol in the second season. Two of his other upcoming projects titled The Match and Goodbye Earth were postponed. They were set to be released this year, but due to the controversy surrounding Ayn, that didn't seem like a good idea anymore. As of right now, Ayn has admitted to most of the charges, but he insisted that he mostly used the substances for treatment. Many people are wondering what's going to happen to him next. Media outlets have been very clear in letting the public know that it's very unlikely that Ayn will ever return to the entertainment industry. It's highly likely that he'll be put on a list of suspended celebrities, making a comeback impossible even if he wanted to. The burning question is whether this is fair considering that he never harmed anyone but himself. There's countless people that believe that the way that Ayn is being treated is unjust. They claim that there are public figures who have done much worse, yet Ayn is the one receiving the most terrible treatment. Addiction isn't easy, and he should be getting the help he needs instead of being punished for it, especially considering his past. Do you think Ayn is being mistreated? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.